Oh my goodness. Yeah, we... I swear, that, when I watch your other interviews, it seems like the other people be further away from you. Really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, show, it's an it... illusion. Oh. <laughs> you know? <laughs> it seems oh, like that, man. but actually, yeah. Right, I yeah, see. Yeah, a... TV magic, yeah. Yeah, normal. Now, this be on YouTube, too? Yeah, it be on okay. YouTube. Yeah, you got to make sure I get the links and stuff, yeah, so I can put it out there, you know what I'm saying? I'll definitely make sure you have the link. This nigga. This is the Inconsistent Podcast with Rob Hayes. Wait a minute, shit. I'm here Wait with my special guest. Ooh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Kareem Young. What's up, what's up? Sorry, y'all. I just came from outside. It's hot. So big <laughs> dude sweating, you know? It's hot outside, yeah. y'all. Yeah, it's the... The give and take of being big and sexy. Sometimes you sweat a little bit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hey, this music is the bomb, by the way. Hey. This is. I, w- I was going, you know, play yeah. something. Yeah. This is this is super groovy right here. Yeah. Some Shaka Khan, you know. She's from Chicago, County right? Met High School, yes, sir. Okay. South Side, all right. South Side of Chicago. She went to one of the, who? She went to one of the worst high schools in Chicago. I don't know when she, her. Age. You know, I'm about to say, but, you know yeah. how it was back then. Yeah, back then it might have been <laughs> nice, clean hallways, mm-hmm. but but by the '90s it had turned into like lean on me. Like, it was, okay, yeah, yeah, that's what it looked okay. like. <laughs> yeah, it was a lot of wildness around that high school. Yeah, they even. Changed the name and everything and called it uh, Perspectives. And okay. That's where, um, when a high school does a rebrand, you know, all right, they that's like yep. the end. That's yep. like the that's end when the they're end. like, all right, we just going to call end. it something else. Yep. we gonna, we going to make it so look a different color. Yeah. And we and got so a new mascot. I, y'all want to vote on yeah. the new mascot? What y'all want the new mascot to be? You know, like. <laughs> and I, I see my friends that, that went there and they still mm-hmm. got, went to Calumet High School and it was like, Oh, do you, it doesn't exist anymore. Like, do you do you change it to perspective now to the new name because it's called perspective? And that's actually where um, Anthony Davis graduated from. Okay, uh, NBA star Anthony Davis. Yeah, he's, I, oh, I know yeah. about AD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chicago went All graduated right. from perspective high school. Yep, to the NBA. Yeah, yeah. Went in as a, as a guard, came out as a center. That's crazy. Crazy growth spurt. That's that's you know? the shit that amazed me about these guys who hit these spurts because most of them start out. Like not even like average point guard height, and then they yeah. just go to seven feet out of nowhere. It's it's insane. It's crazy. Yeah. I I do like wonder, like how like I I feel like in Anthony Davis is he wants to be a guard. Yeah, yeah. And I think he saw himself as yeah. like I'm gonna be a guard. Yeah. Well, most and didn't yeah. plan on being the yep. biggest dude, yeah. but that's what made him so yeah. crazy when he was at Kentucky. Yeah. Because yep. it's like he is going yep. coast to coast. Yep. He's huge. He's like not yep. blocking the shot. Yep. He's grabbing a ball and just coming down yep. and then going. But that's Kevin Garnett too. It's like it's yeah. like if you were a big man in Chicago, you you learned how to dribble first. Like every okay every big guy I've ever seen out of Chicago have handles like like a point guard. Like is I don't know what it is, but they all wanna be point guards like yeah, you just said. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But then when they get to the pros, it's like, get your ass down there um in the paint. But like Garnett Garnett used to do the same stuff. Go coast to coast, you know, grab the mm-hmm, rebound, mm-hmm. push it all the way up the flow behind the back, dunk it, you know. So Did yeah. you ever watch Garnett play when he was in high school? Uh I didn't watch him play at his high school, but um my mom actually was a social worker at a place called um, Better Boys Foundation. Okay. And he used to go there, and I actually played a couple games with him. Um, it was on the west side. Uh, we would get out of school and uh, as a shorty. Like, I was catching the green line all the way to the west side from the south side. Okay. my mom got off, you know, late, and we would go and uh, play a couple games. I remember um, watching the game when he first made it to the league. And my mom was like, Kevin got nothing in the NBA. And I was like, Mom, you do not know who this is. Man. And she said, boy, you used to play ball with him on the side of my job. Wait, you uh, didn't yeah. know? I, I forgot. I forgot all about it. Forgot all about it. I think I was maybe like a freshman or sophomore in high school because I think Garnett is a year behind me. I think I came out in 94. I think he was maybe 95, I think, maybe 96 in that Kobe oh. um, class and stuff. Yeah. So, so you playing against a, a young Garnett. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, d- you did bring up the South Side. You are on the show, South Side. Oh, yeah. Are you excited about the third season? Man, super excited. Um, that's the one thing that I hate. That after you, it's like after um, you finish film, it's like, you know, I forget that, you know, they got to edit, they got to add music, they mm-hmm. got to do all this stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, I'll be ready to see it. So this this time, these couple of months in between when it comes out, which it should be coming out in December, people. Okay. Um, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Definitely need the horn for that. <laughs> um <laughs> Yeah, so this time here, I'm just like, just nervous and stuff, because it's like, you know, because you always, as an actor, you always think like, okay, like, what got cut, what, you know, what made it, what didn't make it, you know, so it's like, every time, and I I tell a lot of my friends, it's like, every time we see it, it's like seeing it for the first time just like you, because Mm. when you're, when you're actually filming and doing it, it's so, you know, robotic almost, like, we have a lot of fun, but when you're delivering the lines like that, you don't actually feel how it's going to, you know, play out once they do the editing and add all the other stuff to it to, yeah, to give it yeah. that TV magic, you know what I'm saying, or that movie magic or whatever. Mm-hmm. So, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a fan as well. <laughs> wow. Yeah. What's it like when you go back home? Are you, like, are, are people running up on you? Are people, you know? You, you, know? you know, even here, um, um, I think once we switched over to um, HBO, um, it kind of... Um, kind of caught on with a lot of people yeah. um, black twitter went crazy i wasn't doubting the yeah. people running yeah. up on you yeah, anywhere black. in the world <laughs> black I twitter went crazy about it. now some people hesitate because you know i'm still i'm six three big guys so, yeah. so they'll sit back for a minute and then uh they'll be like hey um i just want to say love the show and yeah so i get a lot of that yeah. which is which is great man especially when you're doing stuff like this it's, it's really good to get mm-hmm. that and stuff yeah but it's more from stranger stuff like friends you know they still like hey what's up my friend you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you know, like, yeah. what's up dude like hey we over here we over here come come through the crib if you want to play the game or something like that so but yeah but like for those fans who don't know me who didn't grow up with me yeah it's it's, it's cool to see them walk up i was actually in the airport in burbank and um a dude from South Holland. Um, it's the south suburb of the South Side. Okay. Um, a middle aged white man. Just mm-hmm. like he literally stopped and was like, dude, that is you. He was like, man, I'm such a fan of the show. He was like, the way y'all bring it together. He's like, I'm not from Chicago. I was like, he was like, I'm from the South Suburb. I said, where? Because a lot of people would say South Suburb, but they mm-hmm. really like right here on the cusp. So he's like okay. South Holland. So he's literally like seven minutes out of like Chicago city limits. You know Got what I mean? You. So, Got you. so he like, yeah, I'm from South Holland. I'm like, oh yeah, I know South Holland. So yeah, but it was just really cool how he was from, you know, from a different standpoint, different yeah. uh, race orientation, how he was breaking down the show and how it was so relevant to him. Like mm. it was, it was really dope. Like, man, he was like, it's definitely Chicago. He's like, I love it, man. I can't wait. I told him season three was coming and he like, you know, like almost, was like bouncing and giggling almost like said, this was a middle middle age. That's amazing. That's <laughs> yeah, so amazing. it was pretty cool. Yeah, man. Got the middle aged men bouncing and giggling. Bouncing out here. and giggling. <laughs> 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 oh, 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 oh. I was so happy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, so and last night I was just at a uh party. I was telling you um Chance the uh rapper um had a um he did an art um, display with uh, Mia Lee, and um, and uh, it was just so many people walking up, and it was just cool to get that California vibe because it is a Chicago so so you always wonder like is it reaching the mm-hmm. other states, the mm-hmm. other cities? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But Cali, Cali loves Southside, man. Like real yeah. talk. Yeah, so, I mean, well, yeah. like there's a lot of places that are divided. Not maybe the same in Chicago, yeah, yeah. but there is that divide that when you say South Side, yeah. it means more than just a direction. Yeah. And there's a that's relatable in yeah. a lot of areas mm-hmm. just mm-hmm. off of, you know, how how things were set up, you know. Yeah. In the in the past and whatnot, this yeah. podcast does have one rule: mm-hmm. we don't Google anything, we don't look anything up. <laughs> Um, so just so love you know, it. love it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you gotta get a horn for that. Yeah, mm-hmm, we, mm-hmm. we fresh off the dome. We ain't looking up nothing. Just what's in our <laughs> brains so what's, far. Yep, yeah, yep. what we got I love right it. now. I love it. Uh, Kareem, do you believe in other universes? Oh, I definitely do. Um, what's that movie it's with Halle Berry in it? Okay, um, and it the, the movie started out a whole nother way, and then it turned out that. Uh, aliens made the moon, and okay. they were the reason that that the Earth is able to be existent because they created this moon to 
you know, to pull the, you know, the Earth's atmosphere and all of this. Got and now, you. Uh, it was some type of being or something that didn't, yeah. didn't want that to happen. So, it was, yeah, it was crazy. So, I mean, it, it's really starting to make me think a lot, a lot more about it, man. Like, seriously. I think I watched this movie on Tubi. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what is this? With Halle Berry? The, yeah, with yeah, Halle yeah, Berry. I mean, if it's Halle Berry, you have to, like, Tom at, least Hanks. Give it, at least give it some time, yeah. Is Tom <laughs> Hanks in there? Uh, Tom, no. Tom Hanks wasn't. Wait, is, oh my God. You see, I started thinking about Halle Berry. I can't even think of who else was in the movie. Damn, I got I, you. Yeah, I went straight Halle Berry. Yeah, mm -hmm, that's, yeah, that's mm -hmm. about, yeah. I know that guy from Jurassic Park, um, he was in it. Um, he's also played Jeff in, Goldblum. Uh, yeah, I think it's him or the, um, I know he also plays the guy um, with like Groot and all those people from. Um, oh, Chris the Pratt. Yeah, Chris Pratt. Yeah, okay. he's yeah he's in the movie. He plays gotcha. a um, guy. He's actually was like the the driver of the spaceship and stuff. He can like drive through anything and get stuff done. So he was he was the navigator of the. Are you making this spacecraft. movie up? Does this you movie know, exist? It's <laughs> <laughs> and it's so funny. Chris my, Pratt driving yeah. a spaceship with Halle Berry. Well, yep, she she went up there too because she had the the knowledge and she was the head of the. Space program. My brother. Okay. It's so funny because my brother was just telling me that he just watched it, and um, but yeah, that's that's the thing. On the spot, I cannot remember it's a movie's good. name. I can't remember. Are you like this with all movies? Just about. Yeah. Just about. Just about. Like like I just brought up Lean on Me. Like I could only tell you about Joe Clark. That's the only out of everybody in that movie. That's well. That's, that's a real like one remember. one. <laughs> important character movie like everybody Freeman, else right. is kind of like doesn't yeah. have names yeah. it's just like yeah. you know i guess miss is just like a uh, girl on the stairs uh yeah guy in the bathroom you know what mm -hmm. what I'm mm -hmm. <laughs> the guy that was singing in the, the yeah. bathroom <laughs> yeah that's still yeah. a classic that should have that should have went out i, I think that could have went um diamond that song because everybody was singing that shit back then. What yeah. uh, the the uh, fairy side, side yeah, song, yeah. the East Side High song? They should have put that out. Yeah, they they should have put that out. They should have put. That that was like should have covered that. That like, was like Shy, the anthem for yeah. If they would have did the East Side High song, like when Boys to Men did a song from Cooley High, Shy should have been like, yeah. "Well, we got a song from a movie too." Exactly, bro. <laughs> exactly. That would. Uh, I'm telling you, it's, you know, people. <laughs> You, you know, when you look back at stuff, you're like, wow, look at all those missed opportunities. Missed you know opportunities. I mean? like, they crazy. was busy doing <laughs> songs with Big Daddy Kane. Yep. They had they had the banger right there in had the movie. The, had the diamond, <laughs> double platinum <laughs> record right there. Fair East Side. Yes. Yes. Yes, bro. Um, How's everything been going with you, though, man? Like, you've been good? You I've been, been good, man. Yeah, man. Have doing you, have well. you, I know you've been doing gang of shows. Have you done any... Uh, in LA soon because I know I came to one that you like totally yeah, destroyed. I'm, I'm, like, I've got it. some shows in LA. Um, oh yeah, you definitely got to yeah, hit me in the inbox yeah. with those, bro. Yeah, shout you know, out I to Good Heroin yeah. Stories at Echo yeah. Park on Saturdays, yeah. Motherland on Wednesdays, and Eagle Rock. Oh okay. Oh Eagle Rock. Oh, that's down the street from yeah, me. Yeah, down yeah, yeah. It's not far. Both Wait, of them when, are when, far. Is, when is Eagle Rock coming up? It's uh on uh, on Wednesdays oh, at okay. nine o'clock. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I'm there. I'm Cuisine there. Yeah. And Filipina. That's what I like about Cali too. Like it's it's always stuff going on during the week. Like yeah, like, yeah. Like Chicago is more you you work your ass off and then the weekend you turn up. But I like in like, Cali, it's like almost every day is almost like a turn up. I feel like there's comedy during the week in yeah, Chicago. Yeah, it is. Chicago yeah, riddles big and stuff like that. Yeah, comedy yeah, town, yeah. ton of yeah, clubs, yeah, ton of yeah. funny comedians, yeah, ton of, ton legendary of yeah, past. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Um, yeah. Which is why Southside is filmed there, um, and all the actors are pretty much from Chicago. Yeah, from yeah. Chicago. That's why I never yeah. felt any type of way about not being there because I'm, you know, everyone but, knows but, how, how. You know, y'all are from Atlanta too, so you know we would definitely have to bring you yeah, in, bro. Yeah. Definitely have to. No, I, definitely have to bring you in. I for did season some voiceover you know? work yeah. on season two, yeah. and you know when yeah. they was doing yoga, that that was my voice on the on the outside. So you know, what I'm saying? I appreciate that. You know, like like you know, I always yeah. wonder who that was because that yeah. was hilarious. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was me and Mitch Marchand. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that yeah. was hilarious. So Southside's on my IMDb already. You know what I'm saying? It's not that's, like yeah, that's it's that not is dope. like like the family. Didn't, I remember didn't shooting that. We were actually on 87th Street, like in, yeah. in the hood. In a um, it was a um commercial property, and uh, I guess it was empty. So they 
they filmed it in there, but it was like very cold and like raining that day. Mm-hmm. And we were, and they had to keep opening the door, you know, because it was COVID time, so they had to, you know, let fresh air in. But it's freezing cold, and I'm no socks, yeah, shorts on, and a t-shirt doing yoga. Oh. And it, was, no, it was, I swear, like I literally had to like later that day filming stuff. Like I, I was on tea and. And like take some Theraflu and stuff, cause like I was legitimately about to catch a cold and lose my voice from uh shooting that that scene, man. It was crazy. Yeah. When you do a scene like that, do you ever feel like, are you worried about do I look cold? You, hey, all the time, all yeah. the time. I always wonder, and I and I always ask um the uh the camera guy or mm-hmm. the director of photography, like, hey, how did you know? Like, how did this look? How did this come out? Especially though, with Southside, um, we're known for. Uh, some crazy costumes and stuff like that. So I always be like, hey, like, you know, like, how did this look? You know, yeah. did I look, you know, did I look like I was supposed to look? Did I look like I was supposed to be afraid? Something like that. And they was like, oh, yeah, you killed it, K. So it was like, oh, great. Okay. Yeah. I, I do like when the crew keeps it honest. Yeah. yeah. I do like when the crew, like, gives it up. Yeah. And if they don't like yeah. something, they might not be like, man, that, hey, yeah. that wasn't it. But they'll be like, yeah. but they don't say anything. Yeah. And then it's like, cool. I know, like, yep, yep. I got to tweak something. That's one thing I, I can't say. Southside and, and I was on set for um, Sherman Showcase when mm-hmm. you were filming a uh, scene. Can't give nothing up because it's coming up soon. But um, and hopefully I'll get over there uh, next season. Shout out to Sherman Showcase coming up as well. Uh, you know, it's all a family thing. We mm-hmm, show love mm-hmm. for for everybody, but yeah, but uh, when I found out that, that's what I, said, I can't say that, but that character you play, dog, like, I can't wait. I hope that's the first damn episode. Cause, cause <laughs> I that, have no clue that was, when it's yeah, gonna be. I that, can't, that can't believe hilarious. it's still there. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah that, yeah, that was hilarious. And actually, um, coming here, um, past the studio, um, yeah, what you guys, uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, because I take in LA, I take the streets a lot of places, I don't get on the, um, the highway a lot. Why the is that? Um, the highway here, um, it's kind of ugly to me. Okay. You know, just a lot of, you know, dry vegetation, mountains, you know, just like dirt, rocks. And being a Chicago kid and, and being out here, I kind of like hitting the neighborhoods and stuff. I like hitting the mm. streets, hitting, bending in the corners, kind of mm. learning my way around, you know. So yeah. I'd rather be stuck at a light for a couple of minutes than be stuck in like bumper to bumper I got uh, traffic you. with nothing but cars and then just just dry looking mountains with a little bit of like dry shrubbery on it and stuff. So I've, I've literally been, maybe been I've been here almost two years. I've maybe been on the E Way twice. See, I like the dr- the drive back from here because uh-huh. it's just like you're like between mountains. Yeah, see, and I almost me, flipped out coming here because I'm like, like, wait a minute, I, I, I went up and I'm like, wait, am I gonna go into yeah. a mountain? I was like, because I don't do that. No, nah, I kind of, <laughs> I kind of like it because I feel like, yeah, like yeah. I'm out here with the mountains. <laughs> there was Not no mountains in Atlanta. at a mountain and doing some hiking, but like sometimes when you like way up there and then that curve, like it's a couple. I'm like, you can literally. Like let the window down and reach out and like grab you some mountain if you I, want. I to. wouldn't like, suggest doing that, especially I not at like you know 35, 40 miles an yeah, hour. Right? Yeah, yeah, that reach out not gonna do like you think it's gonna do. You know, you could, right? You could, but you just yeah. you should leave it at yeah. could. Yeah. You yeah. know, what I'm saying come out like this. When yeah, you're done. I don't, like, yeah, yeah, no fingers at all. Yeah, cause uh, I hit a cone one time with my side mirror and it cracked my whole mirror. Oh. And I was like, I thought cones were soft. Like we use exactly. cones <laughs> in football yeah, exactly. all the time. Like cones are not, you know what I'm saying, supposed exactly. to do that much right. damage. You fell on cones in practice all yeah. the time. Never bothered you. Yeah. Yeah, but. but when you when you hit a cone at a certain yeah, speed, a, certain a cone speed. is dangerous. So I could just imagine mountain just being Oh man, I, a I had rough. my first accident out here and it wasn't even with anybody. I've never had an accident, but I actually um, went out to lunch with um, with uh, Zuri and Raja and uh, Mama Salaudin, and I parked next to this, like, shout out to them, my sisters and my mama. Um, and um, I parked next to this, like, huge, um, like, um, pillar or whatever next mm-hmm. to my car. And I had such a great lunch, and we were talking about, um, you know, uh, season two coming out and stuff like that. And I just literally just went in reverse didn't pay attention to anything and like literally like tore my mirror, cracked my mirror up, uh, put a dent in the door, everything. Like this was self-inflicted. Dang. No one hit me. No Dang. one cut me off. No, I literally tore my own shit up on my own. I was, 
And it makes so bad, like, I was pissed, but I was like, today was still a good day. I, yeah. I, and I think it's something about the sunshine in California. Okay, like, okay. It really keeps you as positive as possible. But okay, Like, being in Chicago, okay. where now, like, like two to three months out of the year is, like, mm-hmm. completely gray and, and dark, like, it brings your whole mood down. So I probably would have spassed the hell out if it was, I was in Chicago. But here it was still sunny. It was yeah. still beautiful. So yeah. I just drove my raggedy ass truck home and okay. went through the insurance like I'm supposed yeah. to, you yeah. know, and, yeah. and got it fixed. So it was pretty Man. cool. Yeah. One of them big, like yellow pole things. Oh, yeah, them will will definitely beat tell you. your yeah. car up. Yeah, yeah, that will, yeah. It's you will, amazing. It will look like you hit a bear or some shit. Yeah. Whoever yeah. came up with that, genius. You know, like, yo, we don't need a whole wall. We just need a couple yellow things yep, that will yep. just do all the damage you needed to do. Yeah. Yep. Now, the thing that was pissed off after that, they my insurance went up like $100 a damn month. Dang. So this, this, this is what I hate about insurance. Like To me, it's like mafia type stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, okay, First yeah, we of all, paid, you got to have it. Right. I've been it's paying for years, never had a problem. Been paying for years. So Where's much, that money? Right. So I pretty much paid for my own yeah. repairs. Yeah. But now you want that money back. Yeah. So you're going to charge me an extra hundred bucks so you can get that back. Like, yeah. now we need that back, homie. Yeah. I've been paying for years. <laughs> Pull from the money that I've been I've paying never had for an years. Accident. I've never had a insurance claim on a vehicle ever until yeah. uh, last last year. Till last year, never. So where did all of that money go? Where, where is it? Where does the money go? It goes to Chris Paul, and that's what you know. That's Chris Paul's getting it. Flo yep. getting it. We see yep. who's we see where the money is yep. going because they Aaron are like Rogers. celebrities now. Yeah, like, yeah, they're, and they're they selling insurance. A listers, and they're like A list. And it's yeah. like, bro, <laughs> yeah, I see them on, at A list parties, like kicking it. Well, you know, Paul, he's in the NBA, but Flo, mm-hmm. nobody knew Flo before she started doing progressive or whatever. Jay and from she's, State yeah. Farm, I done seen him on yeah. billions. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like, yo, y'all getting some some top notch people. Man. Just just get somebody I never seen before. I'm like, Am I in the wrong? And, and it's like, and, should I be in like insurance commercials? Like, maybe that maybe you should, man. You should. <laughs> if anybody got the insurance commercial plug, let me know. What if they all get free insurance? What if they're like, all right? And what's the what's the dude with the deep voice who's been doing it for years? Like he resurrected his career. The Allstate man. Yeah, he yeah. resurrected his career. Was he it was, Dennis Haysbert? Yeah, dude, he resurrected his career doing those commercials. Come like he on. was after um the baseball movie with um Charlie Sheen. You didn't really see him okay, anymore. Okay, okay. I know, like that you yeah. call uh, the uh baseball movie. Yeah, because I can't remember the <laughs> name of it right now. Major the League, the baseball movie with baseball Charlie movie. Sheen. You that know the baseball been, movie with Charlie Sheen? That could have been a lot of movies, He in the, the basketball yeah. movie with Sanaa Lathan. <laughs> that could have been Field of Dreams. You know, yeah, that could have been he, a whole lot he in, the, he in the show with a with a bunch of hours on Fox. Right, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, yo, <laughs> the but man yeah, worked. But, but that's but he came back off when he start, first started doing those commercials, and then that's when he, he picked back up again. Yeah. Yo. I, I hate it when Kanye said you a fake Denzel like the Allstate. It's like, bro, why why he have to get hit with that stray? You know? No, I he mean, didn't he never said I'm the new Denzel. He never came Never. He, he, acting never. like he always he did didn't him. do Jack he did him, was right. like, no, he was I'm Joe for Boo. this generation, yeah. I'm the Denzel. He didn't He was do Joe that. Boo. He was Joe Boo from Major League. Come on. Mind his own business. And then Kanye had to call him out like that, you know. He don't even sound like Denzel. So in Chicago, you got you got a choice of teams as far as baseball. Yeah, you got yeah. you got uh, you know. Yeah, well, I'm you, definitely a diehard Bears fan, as you can see. You're um, a Bears fan. Bears fan, and then this is what um, I get into a lot of arguments with people about. Because okay, I'm a, I'm a South Sider, but I'm a diehard Cubs fan. Cubs fan. Cubs fan. Yeah. Okay. Definitely rocking with uh with my Bulls. The Bulls. And then uh, if I have some time and I'm Board. I'll watch uh, some hockey. Um, okay. I've been to like a game or two of hockey. Okay. Um, yeah, and yeah, and then definitely rock with the Blackhawks. The yeah. Blackhawks. Yep. All yep. right. And that's pretty much about it. I don't know about Chicago Fire soccer and stuff like okay. that. Okay. I did play one year of soccer in high school, sophomore year. Okay. And I found out that um. Yeah, I wasn't made for that shit. Like you just run. You for, just run. You run for like forty eight thousand minutes. Running and, no, and no where one, is the no one clock? ever calls time out? Yeah, I never. What you see mean the, the ref is? <laughs> so when the ref gets tired, that's when it's like, all right, well the game over with. No, nah, no, nah, where is the clock? I used to look over at my high school coach like, uh, can you call a timeout? Like what? 
And yeah. I was just a defensive guy. So I wasn't even going back and forth up like the whole field. You know, Same. I was halfway. Yeah. But that was still too much, man, for that long. It was I mean, a lot. It I'm was like, this a lot. makes no sense, man. Yeah. I, it, it just made no sense to me. So, yeah, I had to let that go. I had to let that go. Mm-hmm, yeah. mm-hmm. I went to a small high school, so we didn't have football and basketball. Um, so, Dang. Yeah, so I played baseball. You only need 10, 12 people to play dude, basketball? We, dude, we were a pretty new high school. Uh, me, Quincy, and uh, Sue Time went there. Sue, okay. was, Sue was like a baseball star. He was like... He led in stolen bases and all that type of stuff. Really? He's really good. Yeah. I played for a while until progress reports came, and then it was like, uh, you gotta, you know, you can't play because you know you got a couple, couple Fs. So you know, so I would play like half the season every year. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, yeah. So baseball, wrestling. Um, I did soccer. Um, and so then, y'all had wrestling, y'all had baseball, but y'all didn't have football and basketball. Nope. And now they have it. Now they have mm. both of them because uh, they built a new school. Like the school only had. In total, 450 students. Okay. Yeah, they were like 100 and something of each class. Yeah, okay, so, okay. Yeah, it was a fairly new school. It only had one floor. It was The school was like a huge circle, like a donut. There was no gym room. Like, gym class was, like, when it was warm outside, we would go outside and do, like, volleyball and softball and okay. track and stuff like that. But when it was cold, then we would uh, play checkers and... Okay. And stuff like that. <laughs> like, so a school that's states, small, does yeah. everybody know everybody's business? Everybody knows everybody's business. It's like being in a small town. Everybody yeah. know who everybody messing with everything. Like you can't yeah. you can't be hollering at one girl and then try to holler at another girl. By the time you done went over there and hollered at her, the other girl already know. Cause yeah, four or five people are not right. <laughs> It's like, yo, I, I'm right. over. It's we did a have circle. Like glass. Yeah, so you can look right it through. It is and a like, circle, sir. Oh my goodness! Like, <laughs> yeah. So it was, it was crazy. Yeah, mm. It was, it was crazy. But I actually loved it that it was small and full um, body lockers. Yeah, Are y'all, yeah, y'all yeah, yeah, half yeah, yeah, yeah. lockers. Yeah, we actually had the yeah the y'all full had body the real lockers. Saved yeah. by the bell. Yeah. You could stick a whole person in yeah. the locker. Yep, locker. Yep, yep. You actually Man. could. Man. Yep. So I was so worried about that yeah. watching TV growing up, and yeah. then my, I never went to a school with a full <laughs> locker. I hated those half lockers when I was seeing them because I'm like, you, you can't put anything in here. You like, can hang up clothes yeah. in a full body locker. Yeah, if you, you know, dress we would get up. cold, so it's like you can't put a a full mm. triple fat goose coat up in a, a half locker. It's some plus coat books. stuff. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. You got to go. You got to like put yeah. your coat up. Yeah, yeah, you no. gotta put that triple fat goose up in the in the in the locker. You know what I mean? With the now, did, yeah. did they have the Elise? Did they have the Elise back then? Uh, the the shoe? Yeah. It was like this. Uh, they had the high top and the low top, but it was like suede, and then it had fur on the inside. Like okay, yeah. So you know, so your feet I, would be I warm. I feel like I'm yeah. familiar with them. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. If yeah. We we yeah. was doing that when yeah. I was yeah. at that age. Yeah. But See, y'all also, didn't eat fur. Yeah, you didn't. Y'all didn't eat fur in y'all shit. Nah, <laughs> we we wore Tim's because we wanted to. Yeah, yeah. We wore Tim's for fun. Like yeah. it was like all right. It doesn't feel that different yeah. outside, but. It's time yeah. for Tim's. You know what I'm saying? Let's crunch up some leaves. But now, and some hey, but Tim's. now it gets a little cold down there now, though. Like the the, the stuff is stuff is changing. So it yeah, gets it's, cold, but it's never like it's like one or two days where it's like it's never crazy. disrespectful like Chicago, yeah, or New yeah. York or something no. like that. Like we never have the lake effect. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Y'all, yeah. y'all, y'all get to the to the. Yeah, it real... actually gets a little cold here, even though it's like it might say fifty something degrees. But like, if it's been ninety two all day and then it drops, it forty feels degrees. Cold. Yeah, it feels, it feels cold. like yeah. that. I've yeah. been outside all day, yeah. and then like, the like, temperature changed. That's one thing kinda... about California people that I've noticed: like, it could be ninety two degrees, and they will still wear like a hoodie or like a denim jacket or something, yeah. and like some some boots. I saw that mm-hmm, last night. It was mm-hmm. so hot last night. At the at the event, cause I I started to like rock a sweatshirt and some some khaki pants and some casual shoes and then I said, I said when I looked at my phone I said I said no it still say eighty six degrees so I threw on some shorts yeah and a, and, a, and, a, and a jersey and 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 went on but when I got there yeah it was a lot of people with with denim on with mm-hmm. sweaties and boots mm-hmm. and I'm like what is wrong like I know these people are like melting on the inside of this so. well I think you know how like. When you on the um, when you in somewhere cold and you got a thin jacket and somebody go, come up to you and they be like, man, that ain't no real jacket. <laughs> I feel like out here's where they make all those jackets. Yeah, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Because yeah. it's perfect yeah. for out here. But like yeah. if you try to wear some of that stuff 
on the other side of the country, it's like, man, that ain't no real jacket. You yeah. need a real jacket. You need a real that's, jacket. Yeah. That's, whenever I yeah. told somebody I was moving to New York, that's all they would say to me is like, you got a jacket? You need a real jacket. You're going to go to New York, you know? <laughs> hey, it's so funny. I flew to Chicago one time, and I was, I, like, I haven't grown there my whole life, so I went mm-hmm. there with, uh, I was like, oh, I was like, I'm a, I was like, because I, I live here now, so I'm like, I'm not finna get no big, huge coat. So I was yeah. like, I'm gonna rock my jacket with a sweatshirt underneath. Man, I got off that plane, took that bus to the rental car, and I drove straight to a store and bought a huge coat. I'm like, it's, this is too much. I was like, I don't know what I was thinking. Like, yeah. I never grew up here. Like, I had to go get me a real coat. And that, it's yeah. weird that because in my mind, I'm thinking layers. Can do what yep. a coat does, yeah. <laughs> but there's just certain things that they they do in yep. coats yep. that yeah. like <laughs> yeah. you could you could yeah. wear whatever under a yeah. coat, <laughs> yeah, because you get sweaty, mm-hmm. and then also you're like, oh, if I wear a bunch of layers, I could take the layers off, yep. put the layers on, yep. but it's not nah. normally by nah. the time you make that decision, it's too nah. late. Nah. It's too late. No, nah. if you have any. People trying. I need to find out like good places to eat here too and stuff because I'm okay. I'm kind of then got to like the basicness of um, just like huge uh, chicken tenders and <laughs> okay, <laughs> like, okay. I found one good Chicago uh, pizza spot that's like close to Chicago's deep dish. You know okay. what I'm saying? Um, and you wait, do you like deep dish? Yeah, I do. And you know, Tan just made a a, a joke about that. Sam like Chicago people yeah. don't eat deep dish. No, it's, some of us still eat deep dish. I enjoy. A deep All dish right. pizza, yeah, because I feel like I'm getting more pizza, you know, and sauce and cheese yeah. and meat and all of that. So I, I still enjoy deep dish. How yeah. do you eat it? Um, sometimes I just pick it up on some sloppy shit, or sometimes I try to be cute and take the fork and yeah. break me a piece and, yeah, you know. I yeah. prefer to eat pizza with the knife and fork. Yeah, I'm, I'm I, one yeah, of I'm, those per- people. Yeah, see, I see people with the knife, and I be like... You eating the pizza like that with a knife and fork? And I, I'm like, okay, you know. <laughs> I mean, if the pizza is is the right amount of heat, you right. can, you know, right. like you yeah. can get, yeah, you could do yeah. your thing with a knife yeah. and fork, and it, it's yeah. less messy. Yeah, when we were filming, I saw people on set with like the plastic like knife and stuff, and like cutting up their food. And I'm like, this is like. Like just eat it quick so we can get back, you know, because lunch is only an hour. You know, we're on set for twelve. Only hours an hour. Yeah, only an hour. Only an hour. In what do you 12, mean only an well, hour? In a twelve-hour day, an hour is minimal. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like we were filming yeah, twelve. But how long hours are you supposed day. to be at lunch? I mean, I say, in my mind, um, an hour lunch. You're not ordering. You're not no. going to like a. Yeah. The, you're food not being is, yeah, food seated. Is all provided. The food is but, there. But what I would like so that I could be my best when I'm on set <laughs> is an hour lunch. Okay. Uh, and then afterwards, a thirty minute nap time. You know, because food has to digest. Like sometimes we've come oh, back nah. from lunch. Like oh, nah. I mean, if food I take up a to nap, here, <laughs> I'm not at my best. <laughs> I'm not at my best if I take a nap. I do some of these when uh when they say cut or like the camera people or the light people have to do stuff I'll sneak me in a quick two two three minute like this man and like I, I mean I've snored like in like a three minute nap like little like like mouth open and then wake up and I'm like ready to go you know what Sherman's, I mean like, <laughs> the last day of filming I took a nap in the trailer <laughs> forgot I was in a trailer woke up. Fell through the trailer into the next trailer, like like that little like oh, the little fake wall, like yeah, fell through yeah. it, was in another trailer, <laughs> and then walked outside. It was so bright, and everybody's eating, and they're all looking. I look crazy. <laughs> I look like hey, I'm not yeah, I, like yeah because I, I went on y'all said I saw yeah I saw how it was set up. It was definitely <laughs> hot. It was definitely sunny yeah. out there. Yeah. Every day, yeah, and I saw where they had lunch set up with the tent, Man. and I saw the, the trailer, so I'm visualizing it, and day, that's why I'm so laughing that... because I've, I've I know exactly what you're talking about, and you were right there because the the eating area is right there yeah. where the trailers yeah. are. Yeah. I don't think people yeah. realize that when they see the trailers, they don't understand like, hey, there's like, you know, like I think yeah. they have this this other idea of yeah. what it's like. They don't understand, like, oh, it's like a small little I, and thing. I, I've, I've had to tell people this. Be, and I, had to, I had to 
myself, I'm not gonna lie, I was disappointed when I first got to the trailer. Like, you know, I did my little video in there for all my friends and stuff. Yeah. But in my mind, you know, when you see your your favorite stars, you know, I didn't realize that they done bought their own trailer. You know what I'm saying? So when I yeah. so when I saw, you know, Will Smith trailer and mm-hmm. and you know uh, some of these other stars, it's like, okay, like, wait a minute, that's that's the trailer I'm finna be in, and then you get in this trailer, and it's like some some old wood, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Like yeah, a cabinet. Yeah. You got a couple hangers, you know, uh, yeah. wardrobe done, you know, hung your stuff up on this one it's hanger. A sign that you might says, have Don't a small use the little chair in here. And then, <laughs> and then, like I said, and then, like I say, in my mind and how I thought it, I thought like you actually got to hang out and chill in your trailer. Yeah. Like you literally, all you're doing is getting dressed in your trailer. And that's the last time you see it until it's time for you to put your own clothes back on and go home. That's it. I'm like, I'm like, wait a minute, where's the chill time? Where? Cause like Mm -hmm. on TV, like Will and them, they was chilling up in the trailer. You know, and it's like, nah. No, unless it's unless it's a major like halt, like they doing something where it might be an hour take, something like that. Like and but like even then, most of the time I'll just stay on set because because like you said, if you go back to that trailer, mm-hmm. it's, it's it's gonna be a wrap. Yeah, it's gonna yeah. you're not gonna be good to anybody. <laughs> Plus, but then also everybody doesn't have a trailer, so then there's true. that true. So then it's true. like, well, at least I do yeah, got a got little a trailer, spot I yeah. can crash and stuff. Because I've seen some people yeah. who weren't even trailer; they was literally in a in a closet. Yeah, mm-hmm. so it's mm-hmm. like it's like, wow, how do you get dressed in this? You know, season one. Um, <laughs> Comedy Central, the budget was so low. Sometimes, you know, we had so many guest people coming that they had uh, me and my brother sharing a trailer. Dang! And it was so, and it was so funny to me because it was like so because I have a twin brother, mm-hmm. you know, we look alike, we same size, so so I. I I guess it was a twin cause like, yeah, let the twin see a trailer, you know, because they, they yeah. brothers and they look alike. I That's guess. like y'all so going like, on a trip or something. Right. Like, so hey, we, y'all so, can share a bed, y'all twins, you know. And like I say, I mean, even <laughs> even a, a decent trailer, like I say, it's not that big. So it's both of us six foot three in here, <laughs> wide as hell, trying to get dressed. He mad. He trying to sit on the little chair. And I'm like, no, nah, dude. I'm like, this had my name on it. I'm like, you know, you, you wasn't even supposed to be here today. So yeah, it, it it was wild. It was wild. season one was wild. Yeah, it was a knee. few. It was a few days where they literally had both our name on the trailer. We had to share it. It was, it was just wild. It was crazy. How how what was it like growing up with a twin? Do you um do you believe in that like, like you could feel? Oh, most definitely. When he feels, he most could definitely. feel what most you definitely. feel type of thing. Most definitely. My brother, um, when we were like maybe seven, eight years old. He um ran into somebody, bust his eye, and I literally um I didn't even know that they had like took him to the hospital and stuff. So I'm walking through the school and stuff like, well, yo, where's my brother? I literally I got suspended because I walked out of the school. I walked out of the school on my own and just started walking down the street looking for my brother. But like somewhere right above here, and I was telling you about my uh, neck and shoulder before I came mm-hmm, in here. My brother mm-hmm. has that problem. I had no problem with my neck and shoulder, and then just one day. I was, I think I was at the gym lifting or something, and I just, my neck and shoulder start hurting, and, and the same shoulder and neck, and I'm like, what? I said, see, I called him immediately, and I was like, hey, man, I need you to get your stuff together, dog, because you <laughs> so, over here, because he's the younger twin, you, I'm the oldest by two minutes, so I'm, you, <laughs> yeah, we have these discussions, like, these are real twin you discussions, feel like, like hey, you get your stuff together. You something while you lifting weights, you gonna blame that on your twin <laughs> brother? Yep, it's his It fault. wasn't your form, it wasn't you doing nah, too much, nah, yeah, you, it, it wasn't could've been nothing, that. It, could've been that. it was your twin brother. It could've been that. <laughs> It could have been that. You know, you know how you you know how you don't go to the gym for months and then you try to go in there, you try to go in there and lift the same stuff you mm-hmm. lifted four months ago, mm-hmm. and your body mm-hmm. be like, uh, no, yeah, like, no, let's start down a few plates down, sir. Like, yeah. So I went in there <laughs> trying to lift the whole house, but I definitely blamed him, and I still do. <laughs> and um, and it's so crazy. He went bowling the other day. Mm-hmm. He's like, man, I kind of twisted something in my lower back, and I said. I said, I knew it, man. I said, because my lower back right here a little tight today. Man. And he was man. like, yeah, yeah. So we, we laugh about that all the time because I definitely <laughs> blame him for stuff. He definitely would blame me yeah. for some stuff. And that's the whole, like, but but being a twin is not as glorious as people think. Like, yeah, it's cool when you show up to a party or, you know, you hollering yeah. at a group of girls and stuff. But, but when you got to share rooms... Okay. Uh, share your share your mama's car, you know. You fighting over who gonna drive today yeah, when you finally get yeah. your license and 
all that type of stuff. It's not it's not fun, man. It's not it's not cool at all. And then it's it's a constant uh competition and that's kind of where we got our funny from, like like just lighting each other up. You know what okay. I mean? Like yeah, like okay. literally lighting each other up. Yeah. Two twins roasting each other yeah. is probably hilarious. And twins fight. And twins fight. We like we we done put holes in walls, all type of stuff. Cause it's that okay. It's that it's always that um competitive and that that you you have to be number one. He he has a hard time dealing with uh I'm the oldest. Uh, he 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 tries to argue the point that it's only two minutes. Okay, but like it does. Like I mean, if you if you win a race by two seconds, does that take away that you were the first place winner? Does it? Does I mean, it? were y'all racing or were you just right there? Yeah, we were right there. Like my mom didn't even know she was having twins. Like we were born in oh. we were born in Mississippi, moved to Chicago at two years old. Okay, so she had him unconscious. So I told him he wasn't even supposed to be here. That's another argument that we have. Damn, because that's, she, that's she was dark. only under the impression that she was having one child. Uh. And then I came out, and then they were like, Miss Young, you have another child coming. And she blacked out, and she had him unconscious, yeah. And we, oh. were, the first, and we were the first twins born um, in that county in Mississippi. So my mom said, like, people came from, like, all over. Like, black people, white people, they wanted to see these twin babies because they were, like, no twins Get out of here. Yeah, in this county, Durant, Mississippi. There were no Holmes County. There were no twins. Dang. Whatsoever. Yes. Yeah. That's yeah. that's so crazy. Like, so, I'm like, so we didn't get like any type of prize? No, I mean no money, no. There, there's probably an no. article. Yeah, that's what yeah, it probably was an article, yeah. Yeah. There's probably something. Yeah. But also in, in seventy six, you were uh my birth certificate, you were you were a Negro as well. It says Negro on my on my wow. birth certificate. Yeah, like almost nineteen eighty, almost Michael Jackson. You know, fried his hair in the, uh, I don't know if it's Pepsi or Coke commercial. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah you were still, yeah, you're still a Negro. Yeah, so. That's that's And crazy. I didn't even peep that out until I lost my birth certificate and had to order another one from Mississippi. And they yeah. sent it. So, you know, you get something new. You want to look and check all the X's and O's. And it was like race. It was like Negro. And I was like, what the? I mean, that's pretty good for Mississippi, <laughs> though. You yeah, know, it's right. like, all right, Could have been right. Could have been right. Could have been right. Could have been something else. <laughs> we, we ready for the 80s now, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yeah, man. So yeah, I tried to, I tried to go back to Mississippi, do the HBCU stuff, went to Valley State and stuff, man. But it was just okay. It was just crazy. It was just I was I was so uh, city tied by then. Gotcha. That it was like ah, uh, city ties. It was like yeah. It was like yeah. Like like going down south to school. Like it gets very dry real quick, and then mm-hmm. like. All the Southern people, like, they go home on the weekends. So, okay. So there's no one left but, like, you know what I'm saying, Chicago kids or, you know, New York or, you know, mm-hmm. a couple of Florida people went there, you know. So we all just sitting around there looking like, God damn, it's dry as hell out this weekend. You Dang. Know? So, yeah, yeah, man. Um, Did you and your brother go to the same school? Yeah, we always went. To, no, he actually went to... Alcorn, um, where my mom and my sister went. Yeah, okay. They, yeah, I was trying to do my own thing and went to Valley and then figured out that um, Valley didn't even have grass. It was like you couldn't wear white Air Force Ones because they would look black by the time you walked across the campus. Cause okay. It was, it was okay. like literally that poor of a school. Yeah, it was like almost, it almost looked like, like a a prison like concentration camp or something almost like the way like Dang. the way it was built yeah okay. it definitely probably was like a old slave shelter or something where people like live cuz it, it was it, like i said it was dry it was no grass it was it was just it was ugly like the facilities the dorms like it was like just this concrete brick type walls and stuff yeah like it, it was depressing man it got it got depressing sometimes <laughs> there's there's some some Nice things about it though, right? Oh yeah, yeah. But now, 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 <laughs> now it was depressing, now, now, man. It wasn't now, no grass or nothing, now, man. Brick twisted, walls, man. man. I did my time. I put my the, time in. <laughs> the ladies are beautiful, like okay. like the football games, the you know mm-hmm, all of that mm-hmm. type of stuff. Like hands down, um, the uh, HBCUs uh, kill it when it comes to that kind of like that pride that. You know what I'm saying? Everything yeah. like that. Yeah. So yeah, it's def- it definitely had its fun times. I had I had my good and my bad times. It was just um just like the the water, the food. It's not the same. It's like going to um, you know, another type of university or something like got that. You, got food you. is almost like, you know, like grammar school type cafeteria type type of stuff, you know. And Mississippi don't have the best water, so we know that. So okay. like the Kool Aid was like horrible because it tastes like Mississippi water with sugar and you know what I'm saying and and cherry cherry uh, strawberry fruit punch Kool Aid you know so yeah 
Gotcha. <laughs> I feel like I feel like they was phasing out Kool Aid when I when I got to college. Yeah, yeah like really? like yeah. I feel like yeah. I went to college in the Kool Aid Jammer era. Like yeah. they was really <laughs> yeah. they was on their way out. You know, it's like we could do Capri right. Suns too. Right. You know, Capri Suns. Hey, hey, I know the jammers you talking about, right? Twister, Twister thing. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You're right. You're right. Because I feel like growing up, Kool Aid all the time was in the house. Oh, and then one day, always. it yeah, just not went now. away. Yeah, it, it, it really is not now. I can't remember the last time I've tasted Kool-Aid. Yeah. Kids used to sell Kool-Aid in elementary school. They would have the Kool-Aid and they'd have the sugar in a little bag. Early entrepreneurs, the dude, early... I, dude, I used to um, I used to do mortgages in Oak Brook, um, Chicago. And um, and I worked with... Um, it, was, uh, it was owned by a... Um, Nigerian man. And, okay. Um, and they were from Lagos, Nigeria. And okay. um the brother of the of my boss was my age. And um he, dude, he would send stuff like Kool-Aid. Um he would send like the DVD um VHS, like, you know, recorded to switch it over to that stuff. He was making a killing. He would go to Marshall's and buy like the Tommy Hill figure. Like the boat shoes, you know, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. for like ten bucks, and was selling it in Nigeria for like forty bucks, like like Dang. literally making a killing. He was send he was send Kool Aid, and his brother would would uh you know freeze ice cubes and stuff and make Kool Aid and sell it, like literally sell it, like like started a business with this Get with this here. man. Like and I, I was trying to like cut me in. He's like, nah, no, 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 no. Like this is all <laughs> me. I was trying to get in on that because like yeah. he was making hand over fist. Sending stuff like we would, because <laughs> uh, our boss owned properties as well. So we would go and, uh, you know, if I wasn't closing any loans, you know what I'm saying. He would, you know, hook me up and uh, he, I was helping manage uh, some of his buildings and stuff. So, like, we were always stopping by the post office because he was like, like sending like stuff like and, yeah. And like I say, the clothes was like the real sellers, like the Tommy Hill figures. Like, you remember when Marshalls was selling polo and stuff like that? They ain't oh, got them yeah. in there no more now. Yeah, they done well, took it. I took feel it. like I used to buy my Nike socks from there too. Now they don't, you can't get no Nike socks in there. Now I gotta like go to the store and get them for you Marshall's know three socks for twenty dollars. Yeah, a place that had stuff. The gear that the had gear. the gear. The come up and spot. it was like anything that was like i had been around for a while. Like you could go to Marshalls and hit the clearance rack and come up on a nice polo. Nice polo. Or something with some polo jeans, the top yeah. Tommy Nautica. Yeah. You know, all that stuff when that stuff was in. You know what mm-hmm, I mean? But mm-hmm. now, oh, it's just... Now, it's like a wasteland. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. And I, I feel yeah. like out here, it's like the roughest. <sighs> like, because out here, you'll see the big signs and you're like, I know Ross. Yep. Ross used to yep. hold me yep. down. Yep, yep. Ross too, yeah. And yep. you're like... What happened it's here? Like, it's like all these racks of stuff? stuff. And it's like, it, but it's nothing. It's like it's full of stuff, but there's nothing. Yeah. I don't know how to explain yeah. it. Yeah. But it's like I walk full in. Of stuff, but I there's walk nothing. around. I'm like, okay, yeah. I got my steps in. And, and I just go back to the car. I was like, home why goods. did I come in here? Yeah. Still can get your home goods. You can still get a candle. Yeah, yeah. Now that's that's more for what it's for now. Yeah, yeah. If you're trying still to decorate, get, yeah, you know, yeah. the part that you would never yeah. go to as a kid yep, yep. is the only part that you yep. go to now. So it's like, wait, did I it's not that I got older. Uh-huh. It's just it's it's two things. Cause I feel like I have plenty of polos that I bought right. at at Marshall's. Yep. You know, mm-hmm. and some of them were normal looking. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Some of them was made out of the right material. Yeah. It wasn't like, oh, this is a mishap. Yeah, that you horse, know? that horse was a little yeah, squiggly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some of them. I know you exactly. Know? Yeah, it's, yeah, towards the end, it started mm-hmm. getting like that, and he's like, oh yeah, they trying to get me now. I swear, get one me. time they got me, I was really in a rush. I thought I grabbed a polo shirt. You already know what I'm gonna say. It was the US Polo Association. And I was so pissed. I'm like, I thought I had got such a deal on it because it was it was much cheaper Mm -hmm. than the usual polo. But I could say I was rushing, then I got there and didn't even notice. It didn't say polo. It had the USPA. I'm like, oh my, they got me. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, it happens to the best of us. The best it's of like, us hey, have been hey, associated. Hey, but you got to. It was a couple people tried to pull that, pull that off. Like they I had was all one the of them. <laughs> yeah. I was one. I, hey, I wore that shirt. Hey, I still wore that I shirt. I was like, well, yo, JC Penny polos way cheaper. Right. 
<laughs> then Macy's for this right. is crazy. Why y'all going to Riches when you can go to JC Penny? Right, right. Yeah, no. <laughs> I, um, there's a big in Times Square, a huge U.S. Polo Association store. I gotta get to New York, and you'll yeah. see all these foreigners. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. They have a. They got a big like flagship so U.S. In New York. They is they no legit. No, oh. it's not. It's not. But the tourists that come to, they from, heard from about Polo. They stuff. come to, they come to New York. They see the sign. They rack up because they're like, oh, and this is so cheap. And so they get every color of the shirts with the man go all off of it. It's an area and stuff. where you can go and get like any type of uh, Jordan gym shoe purse. Like, but I'm I'm talking about like all fake. Like they're literally like making them like right there, like in the back, and then you oh, can like really? buy them in the front. Wait, yeah. where is this? Uh, in New York, a friend of mine was telling me like oh, they have like a like district. Canal Street. Yeah, they have yeah, yeah, like, yeah in Chicago, yeah, like a Canal yeah, Street. Yeah. They, like they literally have a district where it's all bootleg and like yeah. and, and it's thriving. And I'm like, like don't the city and everybody else like? But I guess if. They, you know, they paying their taxes and their money. One of them I guess things it's, yeah. where you know it's like yeah. as long as y'all keep it right there, y'all mm-hmm. good. Yeah, yeah. I had a Louis backpack <laughs> that my sister got for me for when she went on a trip to New York, and it's like, <laughs> how long did it take until it started peeling the uh, leather? The, the thing is, <laughs> I'm walking to school. With a Louis backpack. They don't even make sense. If you had Louis backpack money, you'd have a car. Right. You'd have a Honda. <laughs> right. At least. At why least would a, you at least why Honda. would you do that? At least that? a two door Honda yeah. Accord. At least. You could, yeah. If you really right, would bro. if you really right. had it like that, you wouldn't be walking to school right now. Oh, but that's uh, Chicago, that's that's the life there. I'm I mean, I've seen so many people with Doji Cabana belts on and stuff, and they, I mean, and they got their bus pass in their hand waiting on the court. I'm Come talking on. about Louis backpacks. They got on the Yeezys. Mm-hmm. They got, I mean, head to toe Louis shirt belt, the, hey. the ski goggles, everything. And they standing there with they with, with a with a uh, bus car. The freshest dr- jet bridge is on the way to a spirit flight. You want to see some shoes? Hey, you want to see some people like dressing <laughs> out? Look, look at the people waiting to get on a spirit flight. The freshest. You not lying either, the <laughs> I did, I did, I did a few uh, spirit flights, but I can't do them no more, man. Thirty minutes in, man. I've never felt a chair in my life so much that I mean, it was just so uncomfortable, and then. Like it's 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 just crazy. And then when I saw the the um the tire caught on fire, I said, "Yeah, I'm done with uh, I'm done I, with spirit. I can't do them no more." I didn't Mm-mm. know you could charge someone for water. It's like yo, like the, what if thing, what four, if I'm four dehydrated? Hour flight, four hour flight, and you ain't getting nothing on a spirit flight. You're not even getting no peanuts. They they had it's, a thing it's incredible. where you you check a bag for fifty. You put it on your carry on for like forty five, but if they got a gate check it, they charge yeah, you a hundred. Yeah, the, they tried to give me talking about it. it was like a dude walking down the line. We lined up and he looked like the uh, said that bad little bit. I said no, it ain't. I kept on walking. I ignored him and just walked on on the plane. Like dude, y'all not dude. This is a little duffel bag. Yeah, y'all not finna give me like yeah. I'm a big dude. I can't put all my stuff in it because literally spirit. All you can use is a book bag. Like uh, mm-hmm. get you an mm-hmm. underarm a book bag or something mm-hmm. like. And it's like, come on, dude. Like, I my stuff can't. I can't fit to like Spirit Flight. You have to be. It has to be a two day trip where you could pack one pair of mm-hmm, jeans, mm-hmm. two shirts, and that's mm-hmm. it. And two pair of drawers. That's all you're getting on a Spirit Flight. Yeah. You're not. You're not loading up no bag full of shit. Like staying mm-hmm. for no week or two. No, Spirit Flights are two day turnaround. Mm-hmm, you go somewhere mm-hmm. for two days, bring your ass back home because that's all you can afford to carry. That's yeah. all you can do. They they crazy. Who they merge with? Oh, um, they merged with somebody. Was it Alaska or Frontier? Frontier yeah. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. I think I did an Alaska flight before too. I did an Alaska, and they flight. had a long layover. Gave us like a, I think a seventy dollar uh, check because I mean we literally like four a hours. Seventy dollar check, like seventy dollars, <laughs> like seventy dollars. What are you supposed to do with that? Exactly. Like so, yeah. So I was done with them too. <laughs> so uh, now I've realized in this part of my life, um, but sometimes you just have 
to pay for some things so that you can be comfortable. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Now, mm-hmm. I mean, I'm not flying first class or nothing, but mm-hmm. I will look for, you know, United flight or, you know, Southwest or something like that. But I've I've said to myself, I have to leave, you know, Spirit and Frontier and all that. I got to leave them alone because yeah. them, yeah. them people don't care about people. <laughs> I mean, I don't know who does, but at least... There are some some perks to yeah, some yeah. of the other the airlines, airlines is is, yeah. is a mafia too is a mafia too because it it makes no sense that um like a one way ticket is like I I was just trying to see about a flight um to go back to Chicago um for a family friend that had passed away and mm. one way was eight hundred dollars and then mm-hmm. the way back the way back was like two hundred and fifty and it's like what eight so you mean to tell me if everybody on this flight paid eight hundred dollars for a ticket? No, that's everybody didn't gold. pay eight hundred. Yeah, they tra- they that's, charged me. That's, yeah, the, that's the most they was gonna mafia-ish. Charge me. Uh, yeah, because the person uh, sitting next to you in that tight it. middle seat might have only paid one hundred and fifty dollars. Two fifty. Somebody <laughs> made a, a hundred fifty. You know, then it's right. like okay, three people paid four hundred at the same time. Right. right now, these people got to pay five hundred. Right. By the time you come around, then it's eight hundred. Right. Then you coming back around, it's like. All right, eight forty six. It's like, yo, where y'all getting these numbers from? It's, it's like you go out of the computer, and come back in. Like yeah. it was two fifty. He's like, let me come back and see if it done dropped to about one seventy five. You come back, it's eight hundred now. Like, come man, on, that man, should be who? a thing yeah. where, like, if you see a price, and that's what I'm saying. You should like, don't like help put with some this, down man. on it and be like, all right, I'm gonna put this price down. Our hold government this price. does not help us do <laughs> nothing. Like even with gas, mm-hmm. these gas prices, man, that's mafia shit. Like, I mean, these people were literally, they already making billions in surplus money. Yeah. And they would still be like, oh, gas got to go up 80 cents because it was a uh, hurricane in Florida. Yep. Yeah. Like, what they got to do with, what they got to do with the price of uh, 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 gas that, you know, from a week ago? Why? Mm-hmm. It, it's mm-hmm. like, it's, it's the stuff they come up with. And like I say, the, the government don't help us do nothing. They don't yeah. help us do nothing. Everything is higher, but everybody still making the same amount of money, man. It's, it's. <laughs> It's crazy. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. But I mean, what you gonna do? Like, go to another planet? Like, yeah, that's exactly. what I'm waiting on. That's what I'm Thank waiting you. on. Like, when do I get the option to say, oh, "Well, I'm going to Mars"? You know, fuck Earth. I'm going to Mars because this okay. is getting out of hand. Okay, Mars got deals. You know what I mean? Like, you when think is that gonna so? happen? I heard Mars got deals. I don't know if Mars <laughs> got deals. You know what I'm Mars, saying? Like, you, get... you you think yeah. Valley State was bad? <laughs> Mars don't got nothing. Like, you don't even like driving on a highway by the mountains. <laughs> right. And you gonna go to Mars. Right. Mars, it's a wrap. There's no vegetation. You gotta make damn, all the all the plants yourself. Cheeseburgers every day. God damn. They're gonna be making broccoli. Which one is which one is man made? Broccoli? <laughs> it's well, the words getting out there. Apparently, some people always knew that broccoli wasn't real, but now it's starting to come up. I, you know, and that's that's crazy to me because I'm like, wait, how? Like, how is it not real? Like, what? What? How are they making this? Like, it's. I think they're taking different things and putting them together, yeah. and they make broccoli. But whoever did it wasn't trying to put that out there. Nah. Whoever started broccoli, like 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 the broccolini family, yeah. like they was just putting yeah. it out there, like. No yeah. one else got all the this, plants like these. Yeah, and people this, probably was like, all this stuff oh, I is never crazy seen out it. here, man. Like, like the Big Mac used to be a Big Mac. Like it was big. It was big burgers. Now it's a Big Mac. You know, I've like, never, I've never like seen. It's like a Big Mac. Like the pat. You can't I haven't even see seen the a patty Big Mac now. in a long time. You can't even see the patty in a Big Mac now. All you see is the the orange. Gooey stuff and the lettuce and the and the sesame seed bun. You have to literally lift the bun. I haven't to ordered see a the Big patty. Mac. I haven't. I haven't. I haven't been to McDonald's in so long. I yeah. mean, no, I was just there last night. But I, <laughs> I haven't back, ordered you got a Big the nuggets Mac or the fish fillet. I got a. I got a. a two cheeseburgers with yep. mac see, yeah, sauce. See, yeah. see, I got the mac can, sauce yep. on the cheeseburgers. That that's how little I trust the Big Mac. Yep. I'm like, yo. Yep. I'll make my own Big Mac. My own Mac. Big Mac, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the cheeseburger you can because it's that's still the same. But man, it's it's crazy. Out here. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. I, I eat home a lot now because it's like I'm not okay. I'm not, I'm not paying for this imitation. I was stuff. about to say after this college experience, you probably learn how to cook. Can you throw down? You know something, man. I had a roommate. I was actually um, as a freshman. I was in a dorm 
uh, with a senior. Okay. Um, his name was Paco. Okay. Uh, he was the only um, uh, Latino Mexican on our entire campus. And okay. He was my roommate. Okay. Um, and Paco was short, small guy, but for some reason, um, Paco would like to uh, put on a shirt of mine or so every now and then. I was much smaller in college, but not Paco small. You know Got what you. I mean? So Got you. I would like go out to class one day and I would see Paco with my button up shirt. And I'd be like, Paco, what the hell are you doing? He was like, man, I ain't had nothing clean. And then I would get like care packages. Yeah, and I would I would walk up to our door, and I'm just smelling the aroma of the food. And I walk in, and he's like, "What up, Romy?" He's like, "Man, I got the mac and cheese and the uh, ground beef going." Like, and I couldn't say anything because I didn't want to cook it. You know what I'm saying? Like that stuff yeah. was just sitting in the box yeah. in the corner. I only took out like the chips and stuff like that gotcha, that I could just gotcha. eat right now. But he was he was the cook, man. He, okay. he would hook up some some ghetto college meals, man. So yeah, okay. give it up to All my right. boy Paco. Shout out to yeah. Paco. <laughs> yeah. That area was probably yeah. in vogue to have on yeah. some some baggy clothes. Yeah. So you know he was like, yeah, and he was he a, hit a uh, lick. When, he was when an you artist too, there. so he would like draw all the sidewalks for the sororities and fraternities, you know, like okay. those okay. weeks. Yeah, he would he would do all their artwork and stuff. Yeah. All and right. he, yeah, and he was like the the tattoo guy. Um, okay. He could do pretty good tattoos with needle and thread, like the, the ghetto tattoos. Yeah. All right. Shout <laughs> out to Paco. What's Paco doing there? Uh Paco is in St. Louis. I actually we reunited a couple okay. of months ago. Paco's in St. Louis doing construction. Yeah. And I bet I yeah. bet every like now that you you on TV and stuff, all kind of people have reunited with you. you know and been like, I, man, I almost shut down social media because <laughs> if, if, if one more person hit me, asked for five dollars, ten dollars, five thousand, it's like, who sent you and like who told you I got five thousand dollars to yeah. give you, man? Like I have a daughter that's a senior in high school. My money gone. She it's is, gone. She's taking it. Yeah, yeah. With no disregard of respect for it at all. She's like, I, Dad, I need this, and I I, mean, I have to do it. You yeah. know? I have to do it. So. Needs the strongest yeah. of words. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> So that's how it is, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You got any kids, bro? You got any kids I have yet? no kids. Hey, you're doing good, man. You're doing good. <laughs> you're doing good. I, I want to good. eventually. You might have $5 you know. to loan somebody. I don't, hey, no, well, I <laughs> Let's not put that out there. Let's not start that narrative. All right. Uh, Rob, yeah. uh, Kareem has hey, said. No. Kareem hey, has said. Kareem so you don't have no kids. The views of Kareem do not yes, reflect That will probably Rob's be edited, account. people, uh, just to let you know. <laughs> that won't make the final cut. So you won't, you won't get that mishap. That was a blooper. That was a blooper. You won't get that, people. Sorry. Sorry about that. Yeah. 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 Yep. Uh, the guy's already on. He's already. He's like, K it's gone. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Kareem, is there anything that you would want the people to know uh, where they can find you, uh, uh, where, where, where you want to steer the people in what direction? Well, this, you know, it's crazy. Um, you know, I'm on social media. I'm uh, Instagram, Real Sky uh, 086. That's my second page. Um, okay. Because, uh, you got yeah, the my, second page. Yeah, my, yeah, my, um, my um, blue check page was uh, stolen. Um, no, so, yeah, 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 yeah. They do that. A, yeah, well, I, what's it, the whole point no, of the you check? Know, you know, it's crazy. My my manager actually did it. I fi I fired my manager, and he didn't he didn't take it well. And um, he had access to my page because he always be like, "Hey man, let me help you get some photos and stuff." So I'm like, "Okay," uh, gave him my info, and like I fired him. And some told me, I said, "He got a little bit. Of, he got a little bit of little girl in him. Let me." Let me see if he uh and lo and behold, both my page, my Twitter, blue check, and my Instagram. Get verified, out of here. Verified page, and he has not. He took them right um right when we like the first week of filming Southside, and I still haven't got them back since. Yeah. Yeah. That should so, be illegal. It, it it is, and it makes it so bad. He still has the page and he still has his name as the person to contact, um, you know, to deal with business with me. So that's why I'm in the process. Like, yeah, see, now I have to see. He was a, he's a kid. I grew up. I knew his father. Me, I knew his father very well. Um, he's a very good friend of mine. Um, you know, those hard days in the shy when, uh, you know, uh, in between jobs and stuff like that. His old man owned a lot of properties. Always mm -hmm. like, hey, K, come on over here and 
you know, let's uh, tear up some stuff and, you know, build stuff like that. So, you know, I never borrowed money from nobody or beg for nothing. So, you know, I always went and worked for everything. I think that's why my shoulder hurt, too, because I've done a lot of uh, uh, blue collar labor work and stuff, okay. too. So, and I'm okay. getting older. So, but the yeah, so, and it's out. his son, and he's, he's upset by it, too. And he's mm-hmm. been telling them, like, hey, man, K is family. Give him his stuff back. But he, this man is so scorned, you know, and it's, it's like, dude, it, it, this happens in this business, you know. Like, he didn't have the experience, but I wanted to give him a shot, but it just wasn't working out. Like, it wasn't personal whatsoever. Got it was just, you. just a business thing, you know what yeah. I mean? So that's that's the only thing. People like, you know, be be about business, guys, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, stuff happens. You know, you get a job, and sometimes you lose a job. It's, it's happened to me my whole life. I've gotten plenty of jobs, and then I, I lost a job. So, you know. So you know, kind of keep your Dang. keep yourself in check. Yeah. So at least so, it's not. So it's not deleted. No, it's not deleted. Not yet. Um. So yeah. So I'm working on that. Uh, either okay. Legally or still trying to go through the family to see if he'll just you know give me the pages back. So. Well, but I did notice let's that. Let's hope um, you, I did you get notice the page that. Back. I did notice that once. Um, I would go and look on the page and stuff because he didn't block me from it at first, and he was just like um, deleting all my followers and stuff. So I went from like uh, four thousand followers, which I mean to me is a lot because I like I said I'm not you know I'm brand new, so okay. that was, I, I I think I worked hard to build those yeah, four thousand yeah. followers, yeah. and then one day I looked and it was like a hundred and thirty two. Get out of here! And then like people that I know were like hitting me it was like, hey, you blocked me from your Instagram page, and I'm like, no, that's not me. I'm like, go over to my other page. I'm like, I have a this scrano ex manager. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. That's yes. that's crazy. Yes. Yes. And my Twitter as well. He hasn't touched that as much, but Instagram, he went to town on my Instagram page. Yeah. I didn't even know you could delete followers. Oh, yeah. Delete the crap out of them. I mean, I them. guess if you block yeah, them, then they them, no block longer them all follow type of stuff. you. Yep. Yep. Dang. Yep. So now I'm trying to rebuild on a whole other page right now. Hopefully, because, um, you know, it's, it's it's hard to get a blue check in this business, man. You know what I mean? So Oh, I, I know. Yeah. So I, I know. Like, I know stars who don't have them yet, I, you, like yourself. You, you know, know what I'm saying? And, and I... <laughs> And you definitely, I'm like I said, you point. have credits. You definitely have credits and everything else. But then you'll see, like, a, a, a somebody like Kitty Cat 200... And they got a blue check, and it's like, and they not doing nothing. They now not. I'm at the point where I'm, <laughs> I'm happy to not be verified. I'm t- cause because with that blue check, it does put dude. your comments to the top of the comment section. Yeah. And I still say reckless stuff in the <laughs> comment section. So I'm happy I to not I say reckless have, stuff all the time. But yeah. yeah. Once you get a blue check, all the, the scammers, everybody, they coming for you, man. They trying to now, steal that page. They sending you emails talking about... Um, they about to shut your page down. Give us your code. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, they doing all of that, bro. Yeah, they, well, see, they want it. I get it. the opposite. I get the. You want to be verified? <laughs> I can get you verified. You want like? I met I a dude in a the tattoo check. shop here check? that was like he could help me uh, get a blue check, and I'm like, oh, I'm like, no, Man. no, I'm gonna give you some money to do that. I'm like, that... I'll just go through, uh, you know, HBO. They they are originally who helped me get uh, my blue checks the first time. Don't, don't yeah. put the plug out there. Yeah, don't can't put the, yeah, so don't, hey, hey, can, I, um, can you cut that out too? Yeah, yeah, blue, yeah. yeah don't, <laughs> yeah, don't, yeah, don't let, that out, yeah. let people know that. Because then everybody be trying to hit the plug. But, you know? Man, you know? Can't yeah. never give up your plug. You're right, right? Can't I, never give the up the only plug. Thing, the only time I wanted to be verified was when Versus was popping off. Because I was noticing yep. that only people who follow me could see yep. what I was saying yep. during the Versus. Yep. And I'm a music head. Yep. Like I love talking about music, and I or I would sometimes I would come up with jokes. Yep. And I put jokes out, and I'd be like, "Man, nobody can see." Yep. I feel like I'm killing, but I can see every verified person's yep. thing. Yeah. Yep. Even people yep. I don't follow yep. or don't yep. care about their opinion. Yep. yep. And yeah, so that's so the what, only time. So what happened time. to me is what happened to Lamar Odom. I don't know if you remember, he made a. Announcement that his old management team had stole his verified accounts as well, and were using them to profit on and stuff like that, and pretty much cut him out. So he he pretty, but I saw it after it had already yeah. happened to me. So I was like, ah, too late, already happened. Yeah. So. When they do that, you're not proving yourself to be right. Yeah. I think just, if 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 you're managing me, yeah, and you take my account and do vengeful stuff with it. Yeah. You're not proving to me that you should have been the manager. Yeah, and that's 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 exactly what I said because he was trying to come back, and I was like, 
dude, how would I ever trust no, you again? And that's when he I kept him. I can't trust you. And that's you. when he kept him because I was like, dude, how would I ever trust you again, dude? Like, come on, like you, you killed yourself. Like, Not you literally only that, killed yourself. If you, if if you got fired as a manager, go manage somebody. Why are you taking your time to tear down? It's, it's alarming the- to me that another man would want another man's social media account. Yeah. That's what that's what bothers me. It's but like if you came to me like that before yeah. hearing this story, yeah. I'd be like, Well, you're about to get to work. If you want my media, you better get to work. Right. So I probably would have <laughs> gave it up. Yeah. I probably would have gave yeah. it up because I'm like, all right, yeah. you better yeah. turn this thing up the, to he another got the level. Twitter page first because I had a Twitter. Mm-hmm. I have another mm-hmm. Twitter page as well, but he had that one first because he was like, hey, let me make you a page. He was like, I was like, but look here. I was like, I don't, I don't need a social media person. Yeah. I need a manager. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go find money. Let's go get yeah. money. And that's yeah. why I had to let him go because he was more wanting to do social media stuff. Got like you. I told you. I don't need that. That's I'm not, not paying what, you. That's I'm not definitely the not role. paying you anything to do that because I told you I don't need you to do it. So and, and that's that's what happened. There's like he was, other people that need that. Rob, he was talking to stars as if he was me on my Twitter page and like their inboxes. Like one day I went in my inbox and he was having a whole conversation with uh, comedian Godfrey. Wow. As me. Wow. So when I saw Godfrey on set because he's on season three, uh, spoiler. Godfrey, great comedian, great comedian. He, we started talking. He was talking about stuff that I had no idea what he was talking about. Wow. And that's when I told him what happened. He looked at me and said, get the out of here, bro. And I'm like, bro, yes. He said, that's some sick shit, man. He's yeah. Like, he was like, he could have just identified himself as your manager, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, yeah. You know, about a being, about a boom. Yeah. He was like, yeah. He was like, because I'd love to have you, you know, on the podcast or whatever. He's like, you know, I'm in New York, so, you know, we probably have to mm-hmm, do mm-hmm. it on Zoom or whatever. But yeah, he was just, he was like, just like looking at me like, dude, are you serious? Like, yeah. I said, yes, yes. There are That's grown crazy. men. There are grown men out here doing that. <laughs> well, Corinne, we appreciate you. Oh, man, I appreciate you, Coming man. on the podcast. Appreciate you, man. Thank South you. Southside coming very South soon. Southside season, season three. three HBO December. Max. HBO Max. Original series. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so excited, man. So excited, man. I think this season is going to be off off the charts, man. Like they, The writers, the writers, shout out to the writing room. Um, yeah, they killed it this season, dude. They Dope. went above and beyond. Uh, and I think this this could go down as one of the best seasons, you know. So we'll, okay. we'll see. Yeah, All we'll right. see. We shall see. We shall and see. And I think this is my best year of acting. You know what I'm saying? I think I Will Miles I I just said that. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. He said he th- he thinks this was his best year as well. He said that about himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Yeah. No yeah. offense. No, no. We, <laughs> no, that's that's funny because I I had the same conversation with Will. He yeah. was like, yeah, he was like, yeah, I feel the same way. Yeah, because it's wow. just more, just getting more comfortable and Come on. learning your your role and your character a little bit more and putting more of yourself. Uh, into it and that's that's the dope thing about it yeah so, fire yeah so thank you so well, much man appreciate it man, man. thanks for coming on appreciate the show it. i'm it's glad been... you got an early podcast so now i can beat traffic and stuff and get home yeah <laughs> yeah i ain't trying to have you yeah, out there was like you the going that friend? early it's like yeah. no shit i want to be there this early shit yeah, i ain't trying to yeah. do no, it's a good no time. five o'clock in the rush mm-hmm, out right mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> i'm straight with this yeah it's been the Appreciate Inconsistent you, hey, Podcast. Hit me, bro. Let me Hayes. know about the um, Eagle Rock uh, show, dog. I oh, yeah. You Wednesdays, know, Motherland bro, at Cusina, Philippina, 9 I'm, o'clock. Yeah, I'm literally down the street. We do it from, every uh, week. From Eagle Rock, right? Uh, I always pass the Showbiz Pizza. Okay. Uh, right there, yeah. So okay. The pizza yeah, right no, there, we yeah. right by the yeah. Target. Oh, yeah. Bam! Yeah. Oh, that place is right there? Yeah. Yeah, because Showbiz is Showbiz and Target. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, no, yeah. that's literally about seven minutes. Come about on. seven minutes for me, bro. Hey, don't tell the people the amount of time. You know what I'm saying? We don't want nobody pulling up on you. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Because people going to be mapping yeah. out seven minutes. Yeah, okay. don't map okay, out go seven, seven minutes. seven minutes east, seven minutes west. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey. It's seven hey, minutes, none of your you business. Know, I'm, glad you, I'm glad you said that because uh, I have to be more wary of that now. Hey, I, man, be like, careful, people, dog. People look at me as a star, but I, I'm still like Come came on. from the... From the block south side. So I have to remind myself that sometimes. Yeah, so appreciate yeah, yeah. it. Appreciate no. it, bro. Like, yeah, yeah like 
But I even mean, Uber drivers, Will was like, yeah, like he was like, yeah, I drive my own car. He was like, because I don't want somebody like dropping me off, and now this guy knows, you know, my house, and you know, what I'm saying? I, got, I got recognized <laughs> in my garage in my apartment one time, wow. and it made me feel weird, wow, because it's yep. the last thing the dude said. I saw one of your posts on Instagram, and I was like, I recognize that floor, and I was like, ooh, that's. Like, we would have been so cool had you not said, said that. Said that. And now I feel like, oh, you been peep. You been watching. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Now I, like, I walk out wow. the house different yep. on the swivel. Yep. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, like I said, with all the stuff going on, yeah, you mm-hmm. definitely in LA mm-hmm. where a lot mm-hmm. of this stuff happens. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you gotta be, yeah, you gotta be more on point. You right, man. You be right, careful bro. out there, people. Be careful Peace. out there. That was a great show, man. Oh, I just man. I love Thanks I love